everyone. As those temperatures are dropping and those runs are getting longer and we're all building that aerobic base, it can only mean one thing, winter training. And the end result of winter training is track season. So indoor track followed by outdoor track obviously. And here at Naperville Running Company we're going to have all our new spikes this year and they're going to have you ready to go fast ready to PR, and ready to have a great season all together. So, start out with our sprint spikes, and these are for all those people that are trying to not run very long, but also run very fast. These are gonna be for the events like the 100, the 200, the 400, indoors, the 50, and a lot of those, those short, shorter hurdle races like the 110s and the 50 hurdle indoors. These spikes are going to be all about getting up on our toes, and, that, and you can see that with how the, they're constructed, how the shape is. Our heel's not going to touch the ground because we're sprinting. We're on our toes, we're moving fast, we're, we're leaning forward, we're leaning at the line, and that's what these shoes are going to do for you. So not only can you see the construction, the shoe getting is all on their toe, but there's also going to be a full length plate on the bottom. And what do we mean by plate? We mean a harder material on the bottom that's going to give us a bigger responsive pop off the ground. This one from New Balance, as you can see, has a full length plate on it and a plate's typically going to be a shinier material on the bottom. The sprint spike's also going to have a few more spike implements in the toes because that's going to where we want to have all the grip. No cushion in these guys and that's going to be great because that's going to keep them really nice and light on our feet. We're going to have a couple, a bunch of different options in our sprint spike category but the main thing to know is that a sprint spike's going to get us on our toes, have a larger plate, and be lighter weight. All right, now, now we're gonna move on to our mid-distance events. These are gonna be those people that like to run fast, but just a little bit longer and like that longer burn. These are gonna be shoes for people who are running the half mile, dipping down in the 400, running the four x four, and even probably making it up to the mile. Some of these shoes are where we start to see that difference in category between something that's maybe more intermediate versus something that's a little bit more advanced. You can see here in these two New Balance spikes that an intermediate's gonna have a little bit more cushion to it, while our advanced model is going to have a little bit less. That's going to be the difference if you've ever worn a spike versus if you never have. An intermediate is going to feel a little bit closer to our trainer and it's going to not be as aggressive and pointed on our toes and might be a little easier on those calves because you know we all got to run the day after the meet. That advance is going to be as light as we can get it and it's going to really get us moving. Now, now that we've seen the difference between that as we talked about earlier, let's take a look at these mid-distance spikes. The mid-distance spike is going to be like a sprint spike but it's going to be a little bit more geared back because we're going to actually do a little bit closer to a true running gait through the whole foot. That's because we're still running fast, don't get us wrong, we're still going to get up on our toes but we're not sprinting. I mean some people might be trying to but we're, we're going to be running fast. So in a, in a, in a mid-distance spike we're going to see a plate on the bottom that probably goes through half to three quarters of the shoe but not all the way through like our sprint spikes. There's going to still be plenty of spike implements in the toes, but maybe one or two less than a sprint spike, because once again, we're not as geared on our toes. And then best of all, there's going to be a little bit of cushion. Probably don't want to be running the 800 in a hard plastic thin shoe, so let's give us just a little bit of cushion. Now this is still going to be way lighter than our training shoes, but it's going to be something that we can do a little bit of distance while still going plenty fast. Last but not least, when we talk about running, we get to those distance runners. Those people that like to try to run as fast as they can for a longer period of time, and usually the ones that end up with their heads in the trash can and really feeling that lactic acid burn at the end. Distance, those are going to be the people that run the mile, the two mile, and dip down maybe the 800. But the spikes are still going to be designed and we can still run pretty fast. So if any of you two milers really want to go see what those 4x4 people are all about, you're still going to be able to wear this spike. When we look at a distance spike, we're going to see a big change compared to what we saw in the sprint spike. A distance spike is going to look much more traditional, much more flat like our training shoes. It's still going to get us on our toes, we're still going to be running fast, but most likely in a two mile, you're going to run a little bit closer to how you do every day and not as exaggerated on our toes. So we're going to have some cushion on there, we're going to have cushion throughout and we're going to have a little bit of cushion on that heel because it might just hit the ground. The other thing about a distance spike is we're still going to have a plate as we have in all spikes, but it's going to be more a quarter, in, quarter length or a half length, or like in this Nike, it really just does the perimeter. It's going to just do the perimeter because that's where we're going to still need a little bit of pop, but we're going to still like to have some cushion in the midsole. 
There's gonna be spikes because they're spikes, but there's not gonna be as many of them because we don't need as much grip since a lot of our foot's touching the ground instead of just the front part. The distance spikes are gonna still be plenty light. Don't worry, they're still gonna be able to run fast in these, but they're gonna give us just enough that we're doing those lap after lap after lap and trying to lose count and space out. We're gonna be nice and comfortable in this, but it's gonna be lightweight. Distance spikes, the nice thing about them is you can wear them for a lot of different things because of that cushion in the heel, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Don't worry, here at Naval Running Company, we're not just having our spikes for our runners. We're also having them for our field athletes. And the first few we're gonna talk about are those jumpers. Now, I have two shoes in my hand, but there's really three main jump events. I don't have a shoe in my hand right now that's gonna work great for the long jump, but that's okay. Because long jumpers, you can most likely just use a sprint spike that I talked about earlier in the video. The reason a sprint spike is gonna work well for the long jump is because at the end of the day, we're still sprinting forward on our toes and we're mostly planting off the, the front of our foot. So, if you're a long jumper, you don't have to watch the rest of this video, just rewind to the sprints shoes and go from there. If you're a triple jumper, that's where we start to see a different shoe as opposed to the long jump. This is actually the triple jump elite from Nike and it is gonna be the only main triple jump specific shoe that we carry at Naperville Running Company. A triple jump shoe needs to have a lot of cushion. Actually, it probably has a little more cushion than even our distance spikes. And the reason is, when we're doing that triple jump, when we're in our jump phase, we are making a lot of contact with our entire foot and especially our heel. We're gonna need some cushion for that. It's a lot of force, a lot of jumping. Now, as I said about our distance spikes, some triple jumpers who are doing some running events are able to maybe try to use a mid-distance or a distance spike and use it for the triple jump and some running if you want to try to just have one shoe. That way we still have a running shoe with a good plate but some cushion in the heel. If you look at the triple jump specific shoe, it's going to be a half plate but it's going to have really good grip on the heel. It's going to have good cushion and as we do see in a lot of our field and, and field events shoes, it has this strap across to help lock our foot down a little bit more. Now, for our high jumpers, we're not gonna have something that looks all that different, except we're gonna have a little bit more cushion once again because of the way we run up and because of the way we jump and plant. The main difference in a triple jump shoe is that we actually have two spike plates in the shoe. We're gonna have spikes in the front of the shoe and the back of the shoe, and that's all because of how we grip when we jump and where we need that grip when we're performing our event. A high jump shoe is probably gonna be also something that we can potentially use for events like the pole vault or for our college people events for the javelin. Now, for our high jumpers, you're probably gonna to wanna to have a high jump specific shoe, and that's what we have here in this Nike but you can always come and try and see what we can find in those other categories as we talked about before. So, to recap, long jumpers, check out sprint spikes, triple jumpers and high jumpers, we got shoes for you. Let's talk about those throwers. Throwers are the people that show up in the meet, go way off in the field, and you don't see them until we all get back on the bus. But they still need a good shoe and we're gonna have them here at NRC. A throw shoe is going to be a little bit different than everything else and something that you really need a specific shoe for. Throw shoes are shoes and really not that much of spikes because there are no spikes on the bottom. The reason for the smooth finish on the bottom is because of the way you would make that jump cut or you make that spin. Those motions need good grip but don't need you planted in the ground because you're making a, a strong movement while throwing that implement. Throw shoes are also going to have a little bit more of a pronounced arch support because of the way we move and because of that extra weight we're throwing. Also, like our other field shoes, throw shoes are going to mostly be see this strap go across the top to lock the foot in a little bit more. So throwers, we didn't forget about you. No matter what heavy object you like to pick up and throw, you're going to want to come and check out a throw specific shoe because it'll give you the grip, it'll still be light but it's gonna protect us from hurting ourselves when we're making those strong cuts and spins. So that's all the spikes. We will have spikes at all three of our Naperville running company locations. Downtown Naperville, South Naperville on Route 59, and our downtown Wheaton location. Come check them out, grab some shoes, run for some PRs, and, and most of all, best of luck from everyone here at NRC.